It's Bonnie. Happy Monday. I am back. I got a candle review for you guys tonight. I am burning the Bath and Body Works pink bubble gum. Lenny is heading out of town. I am on my own for this one. I don't think he would actually even review this candle, honestly. He was like a big no. Bubblegum is not his thing. You know, he likes woodsy, fresh, clean, spa candles. That is his thing. These are definitely um, not his type of candles. Pink bubblegum. Um, I'm not sure the pink bubblegum is necessarily my candle, but I gotta say, this was actually a little bit of a surprise for me because I don't think it smells exactly like bubblegum burning. So check it out. This is the jar. I don't love the jar either. It's too like 90s uh, video game. That's what it feels like to me. It's like all like bright and crazy. Like, you know, I like good graphic designs, but this one, I don't know. I like the old design better. I like the just the pink with the bubblegum. That was cuter. This one came out uh, limited edition which, uh, with the root beer float, which by the way, I love cold. This one's amazing. I can't wait to review Root Beer Float. These are currently available online. Buy one, get one free. They haven't sold out, which is good. So um, it's supposed to smell like a pop of sweet, sweet nostalgia. It kind of does. I got to say, there is a nostalgia element to this one. Um, on cold, it definitely has like that bazooka powdered sugar thing going on. So the, the scent notes are... Um, Rainbow gumdrops, sugared vanilla, and pink spun sugar. So I'm cold. When I first opened it, I was like, I totally got that like walk into a bubblegum factory, bazooka bubblegum powdered sugar. And it, it smelled pretty strong cold, which is interesting because this is not a strong candle. I am not getting like that big whoosh of bubblegum, which... <laughs> which may not be a bad thing, honestly. I'm not sure I want like that really intense bubblegum scent filling my house. Instead, burning, this one smells like a light bubblegum, like cotton candy, which kind of makes sense because it says pink spun sugar. I think I would have liked maybe um, a touch more vanilla, but then it might not have smelled as much like bubblegum. So I don't know. This is a tough one. It really does smell sugary. Like I've had this one, I've had this one going for quite a while. I've got a good wax pull going on it. And I kind of left the room briefly just to kind of cleanse my palate. I walked back in and I'm like, I don't really know if I smell bubble gum or if I just smell like sugar. And that's the tough one about this. It's not like Oh yeah, I'm smelling, like if you blindfolded me and walked me into the room, I'm not sure I would go, oh, I smell bubble gum. I would say, I smell a lot of sugar. <laughs> so um, it's cute, it's fun. It's definitely a really good Bath & Body Works collectible. I'm super happy they brought it back just because um, I like having these like different scents. Like I'd be perfectly okay if they brought the pizza candle back. Personally, I'm like, hey, bring on the pizza candle. I'll take it. So um, I kind of like these different scents coming back. I'm super excited that Bath & Body Works actually um, did something fun and different for the limited edition collection. So if you're a fan of Bath & Body Works, I highly recommend picking this candle up no matter what, just because it's a collectible. I'm going to keep one unburned. And then um, if you get the pink bubble gum, you got to get the root beer float. I'm so excited to burn this one. I wasn't sure which one to do first. I'm like, I'm doing the pink bubble gum first just because, you know, it's pink bubble gum. So overall, um, packaging's okay for me. I don't like that kind of 90s video game thing. Um, the scent cold is spot on sugary bazooka. Burning, it's more like of a pink cotton candy. And I would say the throw is only about a seven. It's not strong at all. Like, I think if you've had this, like, in a big room, you wouldn't even notice it. You'd be like, I smell it. Like, you you might, like, smell, like, a touch of sugar, but you're definitely not going to be smelling, like, bubble gum, like, all over the place. So that's kind of a bummer. So anyway, um, yeah, there's your bubble gum, bubble gum candle. Um... I'm looking on my app right now. Yay, I earned some rewards. That's always a good thing. Um, again, they're promoting the Tropodelic. It's so funny. I got to say, 
I am hearing so many mixed reviews on Tropidelic. I need to get some more pieces of this because so many people are like, no worst scent ever. Some people are really loving it. I really think Tropidelic is one of those scents that smells different on every single person. So that's going to be a long conversation to talk about Tropidelic. Anyway, let me know if you got the pink bubble gum. Is it strong? Mine is not. Um, but again, not unpleasant. It's a fun collectible. Anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.